Well, hello and welcome. We are starting our new workshop series. Let me just grab my glass mat, which I should have put here first. I was taking a photo. All right, we are going to play with the hot air balloon the whole month of February. It may even go on to March because there's so many fun projects to do with this great bundle by Stampin' Up. So today, this, this die is actually not from this set. I'm gonna show you the set of dies, show you the stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set, like so. Okay, and then here are the dies. They cut out the balloons, but they also cut out the designer series paper. A gorgeous little bundle. I'm gonna show you what it's included in my workshop kit. You can sign up for the workshop kit up until February 9th, and then follow along with all my projects. The workshop participants get extra little perks, but of course the tutorials will be here on my channel as well. All right, we are rocking and rolling with another fun workshop. So here's what it looks like in the mini catalog. The Hot Air Bloom Bundle is $45 for the stamp set and dies. So then if you spend five more dollars, you will get a free celebration item. So check out that because we've added a whole bunch of new celebration items. That goes on till the end of February, the celebration. This is part of the Lighter Than Air suite. So your kit's going to include designer series paper, gems. These are called rainbow adhesive back dots. You'll get a sample of twine. You'll get a whole pack of gems. And you'll get 12 sheets of that paper and some other paper. So after we emboss and I make a little bit of room, then I'm going to show you the kit before we do any inking because I don't want to get anything on, on here. I mean, I don't want to get the ink on my, on my kit. All right, so we're going to emboss. This is a card that I did with the Georgia demonstrators. They got a full PDF, PDF tutorial with it as well. I'm not putting that on my website. That was just for those that attended an event, but I will put the measurements here for you. The participants will get, the participants of this workshop are going to get the PDF tutorial of this card. Not of every card, because I usually don't do PDF tutorials. Because if I did, all I would be doing is writing tutorials my entire life instead of creating things. So I actually limit the amount of write-ups I do so that I can get more creative work done. Not that that's not creative, writing them up, but you know what I'm saying. All right, we're going to use plate number one. And then when we die cut, we're going to use plate number two. But right now because we're just embossing, we're only gonna use plate number one and plate number four. They're the only two plates we're gonna use because we're using what's called a 3D embossing folder. The 3D embossing folder is part of the Basics 3D embossing folder set and it comes with three embossing folders. And we're gonna be using the one that looks like a crosshatch. And we're gonna take a piece of fresh freezer cardstock and we're gonna put it onto the embossing folder my mom made all of these for me. She embossed these all for me for my workshop. Isn't that nice? We're going to close the lid. And if you care about the line, if it, if it does, this is crosshatch, it doesn't matter. But if you want it to line up, you can use that line on your folder. You're going to put the embossing folder in there, hinge side first. Put the lid on. The lid meaning plate number four. And you're going to crank it through the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Let's move that out of the way. Now I don't need this, I don't need this one anymore because we're only gonna be doing regular die cutting. But we will need the base plate every time we die cut. Unless you're using a Bigs die. It's called a Bigs die, it's from Sizzix and there's something called a Bigs die. We used to have them stamping up. So that's, that's what the embossed piece looks like. Maybe it's easier to see on here. And then, or here, that's what we're gonna be doing. All right, so that is all. And now, I want to show you what's in the kit. I'm going to put this little piece right here because it'll, it'll help keep the glare off from the camera. So I have workshop kits, and if you're in the U.S., you can get a workshop kit. If you're in another country, you can't get a workshop kit. That's against our rules from Stampin' Up. We can't sell our products to other countries. So you're going to get Valentine Treat. These are Valentine M&Ms. Little bags, and I put special little Stampin' Up! ribbon on there. You're going to get a bag of some specialty samples. You're going to get this in, in die cut, I mean, cut and emboss piece for this first project. So you don't actually need to have the embossing folder or the piece of fresh freesia. 
you're going to get that piece. And you're going to get this, you're going to get a whole bunch of pieces, including, here, let me just take these out and put them back in. So you have this piece, Stitch with Whimsy. I don't know, I hope you can see all these things. Let me move my light closer. All right, so that's a little piece, Stitch with Whimsy. And then you have a piece of, this pool party is so you can cut out a bunch of clouds for your projects. Okay, this piece here, deckled rectangle. Heartfelt hexagon punch with a piece of petal pink. And then these are for little banners. This is fresh freesia and some basic white. The something fancy dies and deckled rectangle. The perennial postage dies. That's this one here. Uh, something fancy dies, this little banner. Stylish shapes dies. And then these little things were already on my table. So that is... We're going to make a note card a different night, but this is an alternative project. That's what I have that out for. So you get that, and then you get a whole pack of embellishments. My mom didn't make bags this time. She usually makes little cloth bags. So you're getting a whole pack of embellishments. So there's these embellishments are awesome, guys. They are really awesome because there's so many colors. All the colors of coordinating paper are in, in here. Yay! Look at that. So we're going to be putting these on every project. So you need you need a lot of these. It was just easier to just give you a whole pack. And since we didn't have the expense of the fabric that we usually have for the other thing, that this one is a really cool thing to give everybody. All right, this is some twine. My mom takes that and measures it and puts it on here for you. And here, I'll just open up this little bag of stuff. Balmy blue ribbon. We're going to use the twine right now, and you'll have enough for all your projects. And a piece of balmy blue ribbon, because balmy blue is one of the coordinating colors. And the three colors of twine. And then you get tea, because we're making a double-fold treat pouch. And so you needed tea. You're also going to need some chocolate. I didn't give you different chocolate for the front of your pouch. But you have something to put in the back of your pouch. And then this is for our shaker project. My mom put little sequins in there for you. So this is your little bag of stuff. Oops, getting stuck. I'm stuck on you. I gotta put it all back in there. This is, it gets mailed and it it's, uh, gets mailed in your flat rate envelope, bubble mailer and postage has gone up and everything. But this is, I still offer a discount to my team members. So you're still time to join my team and get the really cool special at this site till the end of February. Team members get a discount and so do members of Grow Your Crafty Business and so do Patreon members. And so do YouTube channel members. Anyone who supports my channel, I support you with discounts. So you're going to get some of this paper because I thought this would be good to do a card with these clouds because the hot air balloons would look really cool in the clouds. We just have to use different, some different inks for this one. So there's a piece of that. Now, it's going to not be the same for everybody because I can only give you six pieces. So some of you have rain on the other side. Some of you have clouds. But this is called Sunny Days, and this is a celebration paper that I put in everybody's kit because of the cloud piece. And so, of course, you have all these extra pieces. So just plan on using the cloud piece and a couple accents, but you don't have to. You can, like, play around and use the other stuff as you wish. There's a, We'll use the pool party, too. All right, this is just a piece of paper in there because it helps support this the window sheet. You always get an extra piece of window sheet, more than you need for your project. So we always make a window for the shaker card. And then you get an adhesive sheet. This is for die cutting. So it's especially important for intricate dies. I want to show you a sample of something. Do you see what I mean? This would be a sample of an intricate die that you'd use for a window sheet, that type of die. This is masking paper, so you can mask off. It's kind of like sticky note paper. You can mask off some of your project and not the rest. You get a whole sheet of Stampin' Dimensionals, and you get a quarter pack or is it an eighth of a pack, whatever that is called, adhesive, foam adhesive strips. Everything's labeled. Making these kits is a labor of love, and they're very carefully curated so that you have all the stuff you need for your projects. And I do have a couple die-cutting fairies that help me, so I really appreciate them because if they ever quit, we're going to be in trouble because I won't have time to do all of these things that we, that we offer here at Paper Chef. All right, and then if you don't already have a catalog, you can get that as part of your kit for no extra postage. 
Mailing out catalogs is very expensive. And, and we have to buy the catalogs too as demonstrators. So I appreciate when someone tells me they need a catalog and then I can put it in with their kit. Otherwise, I have to mail it separately. And then most time, people just ask for catalogs from several people, and they don't really have any intention of ordering. And it's kind of a shame because we do, we each have to pay for catalogs, every single demonstrator. Okay, this is some vellum basic specialty paper. And I put that in the package with your lighter-than-air paper. This paper is really neat because the dies fit on this paper. So you can die cut out the smaller piece. That's what we'll do, but I'll use a piece I already have open, and we'll die cut something out of this packet. Okay, so that's the only really cool piece. There's, you're going to get two of them because the patterns repeat, but what I'm saying is that's the coolest piece because it has dies that match it. And then the other side's pretty nice, too, with the stripes. And then we have clouds and dots. We're going to be using this, this piece, too, so that's the other side. I would have... Used pool party for the background of this one instead of petal pink. Instead of a pink sky, but that's just me. If I were designing that paper, I love this side of the paper with the dots. And then you have the lemon lolly piece. And the fresh freesia on the other side. The pool party piece. With flowers. And fresh freesia on the other side of that one. Little waves in petal pink. With this really cool diamond pattern. This paper is fantastic. Pastel colors. And this looks like a little fishnet. So some netting. And that is part of your kit. This is going to somebody. I'm going to be mailing. I've already mailed out the first set of kits. And then I'll mail the rest out tomorrow or Wednesday. And then I'm going to be done until probably the 10th. Because then I have to order some more supplies. So I, keep, I put cardboard and things in here to keep your cardstock from getting all bent up. And you're going to be making the cards yourself because we have different... So you get a piece of paper that talks about the techniques course. Okay, let's put this, let me put this one back in. I'm just going to put some stuff back in here. Put this back in and this back in. And I'm going to actually close this now that I've shown you. I put that next to the foam so it helps protect it. All right. Well, let's do this one that I can put it away. You get a square pillow box. If you missed my unboxing last night, I unboxed a couple projects were made with this one. The square pillow box. Oh, here. Yeah, square pillow box. Really cool. It's so neat to decorate. You're going to get some beautiful blue or bright and beautiful cards and envelopes. Those are the cards. These are the envelopes. So I just thought this paper went really well with the hot air balloon. And I always put more than one kind of paper in each of your kit. You'll get some dazzle, just a piece of specialty paper for some accents. And this is the bright and beautiful designer series paper. Very similar color schemes to the other paper, the light, lighter than air. A lot of the colors overlapped, so it was very easy to make a kit with colors that I knew would work for both types of paper. And you're going to have more than enough paper for our projects and accents. And balloon patterns. Okay, so this is the bright and beautiful designer series paper. And in that bag, a piece of specialty paper, envelopes, cards, and then the box helps keep everything straight because the box is cardboard and then I'm going to show you what's in this cardstock pack you always get card basic cardstock you know get colors that go along with all the things we're doing pa more packaging items more designer series paper more note cards and envelopes things like that so let's start with let's start with the top you and then you're going to keep out the piece when we get to the lemon lolly if you have your kit Alrighty. Okay, so bubble bath. You're going to get berry burst. Lemon lolly. The best thing about Stampin' Up, one of the best things. I guess the best thing about our products is the coordination of colors. The cardstock matches the ink, matches the paper. So we're using lemon lolly today. Flirty flamingo. 
Balmy Blue, Azure Afternoon, and then I always give you one piece of white. You're going to need more than the white I give you. I mean, you're going to need better use the white today for making the bloom, but I'm saying you're going to need more white if you want white on the inside of your cards. You just get one piece of white, and then you get one piece of black. Okay, so you always get some basics in your kit. And then if you want to get more white, please get it from my Stampin' Up! store. I give you all the product numbers of everything to order. This is more of a sampler. And then you're going to get this scalloped gift card box. So that's a second packaging item. Plus we'll be making a 3D item with the folds. This is the little piece you need for the put the gift card inside the box if you want to. Some shimmer paper, soft shimmer specialty paper. Get a couple strips of that. Not every color because I was using it for my card club. And then you get a craft note card and envelope. And if you're one of my current customers and you just ordered a new, and, I'm, and you're getting this kit, not, I'm not sending these separate for every customer, but if you're a customer and you ordered and you're getting the kit, then you get one of mom's bags. And one of mom's bags, she made really fantastic bags for my customers. So these are, again, not part of the kit. That was the kit. Close the kit. Actually, I forgot to put these in the kit. Let me put this. These are just a couple strips of basic white. And then, so these are current customers, and then I have some um, candy too. So this is a bag that everybody gets in their, in this, oh no, that's not the bag. That's not the one, sorry. This is the one that, this is what my card club got. This is the one that you all get with this kit. I feel like I'm missing something. Because there should be eight things in here. Oh, well, you know what? It's these. It's, the, it's this one. All right. So any, anywho, customers get that. Or they may get, maybe maybe they already have that. Or maybe they didn't get last month's fluffy fr Fluffiest Friends kit. They might get a bag from last month. Or if you get a Mystery Craft Surprise, you might get one of Mom's bags. But they're not included in this month's kit. Next month's kit, I think we'll have a bag again. We might do Easter bags. All right. So let's stamp. I mean, either way, everything's a good value, and it keeps you from, from you, you're able to follow along with all the projects without, without going and getting a whole bunch of different things. You can just get the things that I give you, and you'll need them for the projects, and you'll be able to follow along. So I'm just getting some basic white, and I'm going to mount the stamp. And I don't go over what's in the kit every single time I come live. I only do that, I'm only doing that right now because I'm about to mail the kits off and I'm making them and you have until the 10th of February to sign up. After that, I won't show you the kit anymore. I won't have any more. I don't make extra kits. That we're going to use up, up, and away. Hooray, it's your birthday. And then this is an alternative project for the note, the note card. Just a note to lift you up. And you need this piece here. So you need this little piece that looks like a little banner. So you're going to stamp your whole balloon first. With Azure or Azure Afternoon. Okay, oh, I'm glad you like that. Thank you. Thank you for your likes and for watching me live and all your likes. I see all your likes and comments and I'll... Say hi to everybody in just a couple moments. I just like to test onto a piece of paper first because before I cut it. Now, after you stamp, tap, tap, tap onto your stamp pad, right? Tap, tap, tap. And then when you place it on your paper, hold it for a few seconds to let the ink soak in. Okay, so that's how to do it. And don't you like how the pieces are attached so we don't have to try to figure out how to align those pieces? That's really nice. That was a very good design choice. Leave your Azure Afternoon open because we need it for the bottom of our balloon. But we're going to do this part of the balloon first. That's my... We're going to do this part. So we're going to open up the Lemon Lally. And a smaller stamping block will do. Oh, 
I'll just use this stamping block here. Okay, I can't tell if it did a smooth job or not, but I'm gonna assume that it did. And then we're gonna put it on here. Just line it up on your balloon. Hold it for a couple seconds. Oh, it came out so nice. I'm gonna do that again. Make two balloons. You're, and this is this is for two cards. This isn't for one card. I'm just making two balloons because while you're die cutting, you know, go ahead and make a couple. Because when you get your card stuck, you can make a couple balloons. All right, that's all we need for the lemon lolly, except for inking up the edges. So that's good, and that's good. So we'll put that. I mean, we need this ink out for inking up the edges of the banner, but we don't need that. Now let's take the, I've already cut a bunch of these little ones, like die cut them, but they're very hard, they're very hard to stamp on just like this as the shape. So it's easier, unless you're using a stamparatus and that's another whole trick, which is another whole conversation. It's way easier just to take this little piece right out of your stamp set. It's this little piece here and stamp it on here and die cut it with the metal die. A little piece of painter's tape. Way easier for so many reasons. Let me take out my take out my brushes. They're rambling around in my pocket. So we need another stamping block. Okay, so we're gonna take this one. We're gonna stamp. Whoop, we're gonna put it on here. This this set's really cool because it's a really happy set, and it reminds me. So. I, this, it reminds me of something from childhood. At my uncle's house in New Jersey, we used to go to my uncle's house in New Jersey, and we would watch the big balloon festival, every, the hot air balloon festival every year in the summertime. So we would watch it from his backyard. It was, like, amazing. And, we would, I mean, I just, I just absolutely loved it. And balloons are cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this onto, onto there and you're just going to line it up so where only you can see the little bucket. That's all you can see. Can't see anything else. I'm just using a little piece of painter's tape. Or I'm using washi tape, but you get the idea. Painter's tape, washi tape. Something low tack to keep it in place. And then you're going to take your hot air balloon die. Put that on there. Again, just so you can see it, it's... They line up, these dies line up pretty well. Some dies are tricky. These dies are not tricky. They line up very well. And as I say, they line up very well. They're not lining up. Line up, line up. All right, it's good, it's good. Now we're going to take what we talked about before, the base plate, I'm going to die cut now, all right? And then we use the thin die adapter, number two, and then we use a plate, number three, and then we're going to put this all on there, and then top it off with another plate, number three. Crank it through, and we're going to get our pieces. And then we still have to make our little banners, which... I could have made it the same exact time because I was already cranking it through. So we, oh, I can do it because I have to crank the other balloon through. So then we pop the balloon out and voila, very nice. Pop this guy out and we have the little bucket. Just keep the tape on your die if you want like that and just move it to another spot. That one looks good. Same with this one, just move it to the other spot. So this is a good thing to put in your starter kit. I'm always coming up with sample starter kits and one, one sample starter kit would be to get this whole suite and a trimmer and you'd be able to get a whole bunch of cool stuff. 
And you'd still be able to get this whole glass mat studio too. $60 value. So if you're going to get some things anyway, this is a good time to get them while you're already, if you're joining Stampin' Up. Now these are, I'm using this one again from Stylish Shapes. I'm just putting it on my, on my plate. And I'm putting one of these. This one came with the hot air balloons. This is a really cool little banner. I just like to stamp my sentiment after I die cut. That's just me. I like to have a whole bunch of banners made. And then I like to do all my stamping later. So that's just my personal preference. We're going to put this guy on here. And if we have to make another one, we will. Let's put that over there. Okay, pop out the little bucket. Pop out the balloon. And here's our little banner. All right, so let's take the Azure Afternoon. And we're going to stamp up, up, and away. It's your birthday. After we do the little inking there. We need a little ink with this one. So if you missed my unboxing, this was a really cool prize I won. Look at these little things to put on your blending brushes. Aren't they cool? And I got a blending brush. And I, you can, these are like little tabs. That was at the, when I went to my Georgia Demonstrator Group retreat. Georgia, Georgia Demonstrator's Retreat. Is that how I'm saying it? Yeah. Winter retreat. So this is if you're going to do the note card. But actually, this die is going to be used for a different card. But if you know you don't want the birthday card and you want to use the note card, go ahead and use the pieces. You know, you can use the pieces and use something else later. So I always do the inking up before I do the sentiment. Anyway, I did a really fun unboxing. This time last night. So if you missed that unboxing... I mean, it was epic. It was cards, 3D items. I mean, the caliber of crafters was amazing. I tap, 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 and then I'm putting the birthday sentiment onto this banner. Hold it for a few seconds, lift up, and yay, it works. And then we'll do this one. We need the note one. Pull that off. I'm just going to stick it on there to get rid of it. Yeah, get rid of it, but to put it in my basket. Okay, let's put this. Put it at an angle if you're using stamping block D. And it fits right onto the stylish shapes die. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other one while this while I'm here. So you can make a birthday card or a note card. Up to you. And you can, I mean, the, the analogy of, you know, just a note to lift you up or the, the saying, just a note to lift you up, is going to work whether you have a balloon or not. It's going to just work. It's going to be a cute, cute thing to say on any card. All right, let's take this piece and let's take the piece of lemon lolly. Okay, so take a piece of lemon lolly. And now I like to score using my Simply Scored. It's a tool that I always recommend everybody get as part of your stash. Now you can score with your trimmer as well, but I just like to score with this. So go ahead and score it. Five and a half. The paper's eight and a half by 11, lemon lolly, but turn it landscape and score it at five and a half. Use the small side of your stylus tool. Stylus tool goes right into there. Okay, I'm gonna trim it up and trim it at four and a quarter. I'm gonna turn it vertically now. Portrait. And there it is. So these are, it ends up being 11 inches by four and a quarter. Keep this trimmer out, open it up and use the ledge. Like so. Turn your paper over. You scored down. That was the valley. Flip it over, and now you have the mountain. And you're going to use the corner to 
burnish the edges. Just looking for any kind of little spatula or something that I can use. So use a bone folder or spatula. Okay, here's a bone folder. Okay, I'm just gonna do it down here because I need more room. It's easier to use my, my Simply Scored for this because there's more room on the Simply Scored. Okay, so that's your lemon lolly piece. Just use the corner of anything. So if you ever have wonky cards, someone gives you a card and it's a little off center, it's because they just did something which is so silly to me. And and I just I don't I don't know why they're not using like an edge of something. But they just they just take a piece of paper and like did you ever see somebody do this? It's like I cringe. I can't take it. No, I'm just kidding. It's only, it's no big deal. People can do whatever they want. But what I'm saying is, if you've ever seen somebody go, oh, just fold it. And, and then, you know, use your bone folder. Like, look at that. Ah, I just want to scream when I see people use the bone folder for that without scoring it first. Look at all the lumps. Look at all the lumps and how, like, it's just, it's just so unprofessional compared to the, the edge when you just fold it without scoring it. Okay, so it's bad enough not to put a score line and then score, but then to not use a corner and try to fold, and not and then even if you're going to use a bone folder, but not to use a corner, you're just like out here using a bone folder. It's like, ah, I just want to scream. <clears throat> because it's so easy to make cards look professional. It's like, it's, it's like a no-brainer. There's no reason to do things like that. All right, so now let's take this piece and attach it to there with the seal plus adhesive. Now there are two sides to when you emboss and one side is raised, the other side is debossed. I like the embossed, I like the raised side. It just looks cooler. So that layer is just going down there with the lemon lolly around it. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Okay, that's not centered. You can only fix it right away. If you don't, if you wait till later, you can't fix it because the paper, I mean, it dries. Even though it's, it looks like it's, ro it's rolling adhesive and it should already be dry. But once it kind of like solidifies, you can't peel the paper off. I'm just trying to get it centered as much as I can, trying to, while looking through the camera. Okay, um, it's good. Oh, well, no, it's not good. Good enough? Not really, it's not really good enough, okay. I'm just gonna, I just wanna at least make it centered. It's God way, God's way of punishing me for criticizing someone who folds their card wrong. Cause there's really no wrong way to fold things, right? It's God's way of saying, get your ego in check. Everybody is correct. There are no wrong ways to do things. I'm on my tippy toes trying to center this. All right, I'm happy with that. It's centered. Now we're gonna take a little piece of designer series paper. And we're gonna use the one that has this really cool pattern on it with the dots because it represents every the, all the colors in the designer series paper. And I was gonna read this to you earlier. So the lighter than air has azure afternoon, bubble bath, Balmy Blue, Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lolly, Petal Pink, and Pool Party. So there's lots of colors represented in here. And you want to cut this. I'm just putting that there for the glare. Three inches by four and a quarter. 
So just do, do the four and a quarter first. And then what's nice, and I needed to do this because I was bringing these to an event, is then when you do the three, do the, do the four and a quarter first, and then you, when you cut it by three, you have this big strip you can use for bookmarks or other projects, and then you have the two pieces. You can make two cards. So that's pretty nice. Why the four and a quarter? Because then it's proportional. You have the good margin around the outside. So I'll be making, I'm only going to make one card with you, but I'll make the other card later. So I'm just cutting the pieces I need. So now you need some twine. Let's get some twine. And you just pick whatever color you want. You could do two colors. I used, the one that I thought looked good with this is the Calypso Coral. Or is it Flirty Flamingo? Hold on. It comes in the packs that coordinate, but just let's make sure we said, okay. No, it's Flirty Flamingo, but it looks a lot like Calypso Coral. So the Flirty Flamingo twine, that's the one you want, the one that looks sort of pinkish, and you want to put that, so you want to tie your piece of twine around here. So one thing that you might want to do is just take, like put a little bit of adhesive there, like so. So when you tie it, it doesn't go flying all over the place. Oops, and I may have, I may not have a lot of, I may not have a big enough piece here. I mean, usually, I think it was 16, 17 inches. But I'm just going to fold it in half to make sure that it's... All right, so tie your knot. And do all that before you attach it, because good luck trying to tie a knot on a card that's already attached. It just doesn't work if the paper's already attached to your balloon and such. I mean, to your to your other layer. So I'm kind of curling it up a little bit as I tie this bow so when I let go, it should flatten out. See? So you're tying the bow, and then you, you make it tight so when you let go, the bow, the paper's still flat. All right, so that looks cute. And we can trim off some if you want. I mean, so don't hang all the way over the card. But it's all good. Just trim, I mean, you don't have to trim too much. Just trim a little bit off. All right, so then we use some adhesive. I'm not big into putting ribbons on cards, but twine is fine. It doesn't, it doesn't bulk up your card too much, the twine. And this twine, you want to use as much of this twine as you can because it coordinates with this package. I hope that was the bottom of the card. Yes. Now we need dimensionals. Oh, you know what we need to make? We need to make the other pieces. Okay, so still a little bit more work to do. Now, even though I do have a bag of these, but I, I, get, I still need to show you every step. So let's, let's first see if I can grab my bag and then we don't have to do it all. Okay, so we're going to pull these out of my bag, but I need to show you how I did this. So you're going to get this piece of paper here. And you can tape up to three together. Now, if you're going to use, if you're going to die cut three of these at once, you want to make sure that you tape the pieces together really tight. And then you can take this little part of the hot air balloon, right, and put it on here on the paper, right, wherever you want. And then there's a heart. I hope I didn't leave it at my... Here it is. Here's the heart. I was going to say I didn't leave it at the workshop. There's a heart, and you could do that. And then there's this little piece. This little... Hmm. I wonder if it's this little same little piece that we just used on the other part. Yeah, it is. So it's that other little die that we just used, which I will be looking for at some point after this. It should be around here somewhere. Anywho, it's that little die, and you're going to die cut out the pieces of that paper. Okay, so that's how to do that. And But I already have, through the magic of television, all of the pieces cut. All Because I already had, because I was preparing for an event. So let's use, the lemon lolly will look cute. We'll just, maybe, we'll see. Or I might use this one. Or this one. We'll just try, I'm going to try 
couple colors and see. Now I need the little bottom of the bucket. So you, oh, and the pool party, if you want to start getting ready for like homework, you can start making your little clouds. That's why I gave you that scrap of pool party. Here's the little bucket. All right, so this part is going to be beneath this part. So for contrast, that's too, the balmy blue is kind of too close to the color of the background paper. And that one's too close to the color next to it. So I'm going to, use, I'm going to go ahead and use that color. Okay. So you've got something going on like that. So you want to use some glue to attach these two pieces together first. Oh. And just a little bit. Like so. Okay, so you want that little you want that little thing going on like that. Super cute. And then you can attach dimensionals. The whole thing's gonna be popped up, but it's just that little part. That little part is glued on because it's one piece. Put a little tiny dimension on the bottom part. And then you want to put, so I'm just looking at the sample, kind of down. I'm going to put it down like that a little bit. Oh, it started to get stuck. So it's going to stay where it's at. <laughs> and then this one's just going to go next to it a little bit, overlapping that one, but popping up on dimensionals. And it also needs a little bucket. Except this time the bucket is, I glued the bucket down and I popped the bloom up. So... You do need to line this up. You're gonna get line. You're gonna put that there as your reference. So when you glue this, here, put that out of the way. You know where to glue it. Okay. So let's put that off to the thing. It's gonna be right under the string. That's what those adhesive sheets are for too. You can turn this into a sticker. Okay. So I'm just putting it under the string. Whoops. Stay, won't you stay? Okay, good. It's looking good. Hey, this one's going to hang off the edge a little bit. I didn't mean for it to, but unless I push this over. You can still push it over before the glue dries, but not too much. The balloon needs to be centered over the top of it, so I'm going to push that over, then I can get the balloon to be in the middle section. Close enough. See how it's touching the edge? That's the positioning. See, so it's like not hanging too far over the edge. Okay, got those. And then we have the little hooray, it's your birthday banner. All right, it's, that one's good. Birthday. They say it's your birthday. We're gonna have a good time. Okay, flip that up, put that, center that right on this paper. See why I made the paper the size I did? It fit it fit this little scene really cool. Like all fit the scene there. And we still gotta add our bling. We set the scene. Now, I know in one of these little places I won't have to open up. All right, let me just, here we go. I knew I had some, it's like I knew I had some of these little embellishments. I mean, let's go ahead, since you have a whole pack, let's go ahead and add five, right? Put five on there. Put them all over. Oops, that's too much like the same color. All right, I can't get that one off. We'll put another one over here. A couple big ones. Just mix it up. Just make some. Here, this will look cute. Over there. This one will look cute. And I'm going to make another small one. I'm going to do a pool party over there next to this one. 
Yay, lots of fun. I mean, just put them wherever you want. See, I put them on the paper before, but they kind of got lost on the paper. And then the, this one is, some of them are over on the one, two, three, four, five. I mean, just wherever you want to put them. I think they look better out in the fresh freezer, right? I just think they stand up better when you put them out on the margins. And look, this is, I put the, I put this string up way higher, put the sentiment up there. So it's up to you where you want to put the sentiment. These are just different variations. And if you want to put just a note to lift you up, you know, put that on there. So that is how we do it. And I have a couple other samples to show you, but first I want to say hello. And I also want to write down the dimension, dimensions or the measurements as I'm saying hello and stuff. Get that off from there. All right. So who has this bundle already? Hello, Christina. Thank you for being a channel member. Hello, Hilda. Hello, Denise from Missouri. Thank you for being a channel member. That's a YouTube channel member. You guys get discounts on all the kits, you know, by being a channel member. Hello, Lisa from Canada. Too bad you can't get one of the kits there. Hello, Phil from Florida. Hello, Kathy. I'm glad you like the card, Kathy. Oh, I'm glad you, I'm glad you like the swap cards and ingredients. All right, so Janet's happy she got the workshop. Your your kit is on the way, Janet. It's in the mail. Should have got the mail, the um, notice from Pirate Ship. Oh, thank you. Your my CRS nine four nine says my voice is comforting. Oh, that's so sweet. Your brother scan and cut did not die because it just it's just resting. You could turn it back on later. It'll probably work again. It's a mechanical device. So Kathleen, you got this. Oh yeah, thank you. And Denise saying my mom is wonderful. And yes, she is for making all of these. Oh, your actual brother. I'm so sorry, not your brother scan and cut. Oh no, I made a mistake, Kathleen. I'm very sorry for your loss to your brother. And I'm glad my voice is comforting you in this time and that you're able to watch crafts and see where my head is. I'm thinking when I hear brother that it's not actually a brother. Oh my goodness. Let me stop saying hello for a minute and show you a card. Maybe this will cheer you up. But and, I mean, we can't do it. We're all, it's gonna happen to all of us and we can only cherish the memories we have with our loved ones. So this is a card that I'll make with a different style. I'll show you guys how to make them same, but with a different twist to it. Cause we only have one piece of lemon lolly. So we'll use some other color combination. So this was the mystery card I made this past weekend with all the little panels and the lemon lolly goes up like that. And then I have two other, I have, two, so this is going to be, this one's not part of my workshop. This will be part of this workshop. I'll show you guys this one. And then I have a bridge fold card workshop that this is going to be one of my Udemy workshops this month. So this is, and there's, I'm making two different size bridge fold cards, a five by seven, and then an, an actual smaller one because it fits into an, uh, an A2 envelope. Okay, and this has lots of Wink Estella on it. So this is another style, and I'll be walking you through all the steps and giving all the measurements. And, and also there's going to be a couple bonuses in that course where I do some extra projects. All right, I know I had, somebody gave me a swap card made from this but I don't know where my swaps are right now. So there is at least one or two more examples that I'll probably pull out before the next, you know, before the next workshop or before the next part of this workshop. All right. So thank you, Janet. She's saying, please like the video. 25 watching, 16 likes, but now it's up to 20, 21. Blender brush, because, yeah. Uh, I don't know who she got the blender brush clips from yet, Lynn. I'll try to find out. Maybe it's like an Etsy shop, probably. So, yes. Thank you, Janet, for the... Yeah. Thank you, Lala's Crafts. And hello, Kathy ba Bothwell. And Yoli Gonzalez. Nice to see you. Yeah, my kits. I'm glad you like my kits. They're always... 
it's different. Like every, I like making them each month because they're different and I have to like curate them and come up with new designs. And I spend most of my time, you know, designing. That's what I spend most of my time doing. I don't, I don't like write up all my tutorials. But this time, since I was presenting at an event, I need to take my jacket off. I needed to write up my tutorials. Right? Because, yeah, I know what you mean by blender brush clips. I'll find out the link. They were given to me as a gift. She's talking about blender brush clips. They were given to me as a gift, and I'll try to find out from who gave them to me. Like, where, where she got them. Okay? All right, so let's write this. And again, if you're in my workshop series, you will be getting a copy of the PDF. The PDF that I sent to, to this group that I was in. But this, for now, everybody else on YouTube will still get these measurements. Just like when you take my workshop in Udemy, I give the measurements here on a lot of the same cards, but when you take it on Udemy, you end up with like two to three hours of like in-depth training on so many nuances of card making. And all the videos are recorded separately. So it's really cool if you've ever taken a card making workshop there. So you have 11 inches by four and a quarter. So that's this one. Lemon lolly. And you're going to put this piece in the inside and the fresh freesia. That's the same size for the outside. Right? So we have five and a quarter times four inside and fresh freesia. Okay, so this one's Lemon Lally. And then you're going to emboss this piece. Emboss. Emboss the Fresh Freesia piece with Basics. It's called Basics 3D Embossing Folder. There's a pack of three of them. Oops, that's supposed to be a B. All right, so then next layer. Then you have layer... Really just one layer, layer one, and it's going to be three inches wide by four and a quarter high. And this is called the light and airy. No, not lighter, not light and airy. Lighter, lighter than air, lighter than air. DSP. All right, string, I don't know. 16, 17 inches of twine, and then you're going to use, I'll just write the inks here. So add twine, die cut your sentiments, die cut your balloons, ink up the edges with lemon lolly, and you're good to go. So we'll be using this, you can take your screenshot now. And here, put the card next to it so you know exactly what we made. There you go. Five little dots, and you're good to go. Now, we're going to be using these sentiments. So we'll be using this piece again and again. We'll be using the birthday more than once, wish big, hang in there. And that's why I gave you so many little pieces, because the only one that came with you in your thing that you can cut out this sentiments with was this. And that's why in your kit... I gave you lots of extra little strips and pieces and things and banners to be able to put. You will wish big fits on here and hang in there fits on there. So these three fit this. But then this one, I gave you a bunch of strips and things that you could put just a note to lift you up so we can use that more than once. So I plan on making 3D projects, birthday treats, uh, a double fold pouch, which we've done on this channel before, that special fold card, and a shaker project. So that's what I'm planning on this month. Yay! All right, so what's coming up next on this channel? All right, this is what we're doing this week. We have, next card is Mother's Day. I believe that's what you voted on for the Celebration Club. Mother's Day card using Flight and Airy. Okay, so that's what's coming up this week. These are all free items you can get during Celebration. Plus, they just added a whole slew of free items to get. So for each $50 you spend at my store, you get Celebration items. Okay, and then ready to be blown away. I'm just giving you a sneak peek. This is the next scan and cut tutorial. Oh my cuteness, 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 guys. We're gonna be cutting out pattern paper using the Brothers Scan and Cut, and we're using this free paper. 
Well, it's not. it wasn't free. It just happened to also be free. You can buy this paper. Just kidding. I'm not just kidding. You can buy the paper. That's the paper. The paper's name is Just Kidding. And I'm going to teach you how to cut and layer this paper and all the tips and tricks. The pencil trick, a couple of the tape trick, the layering trick, a reinforcement trick. I mean, there's, there's lots of tips and tricks in this tutorial. And I have loads and loads of projects. Look at all the things I've been creating with it. All kinds of cards. And I'm going to be able to use those on bulletin boards too at a school. So lots of fun with the Just Kidding paper. You can either buy that paper from our catalog or you can get that paper as a free item when you spend $50. All right, that's all for now. This is The Paper Chef. I'll have more to share this week. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.